Badger and the Badger. Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another champion build video. Today we will be playing as Diana in the jungle, who is in fact probably one of my favorite junglers uh, at the current moment because of the way the jungle is right now, which I know a lot of people find it as very frustrating. So we're going to talk about Diana today, and we're getting to a uh, invade kind of situation. Gonna kill the Lee Sin. It's a good start for us. We'll take the bonus gold, obviously, and we will turn that into more profit. That's what we're gonna do in this build. So, to kick things off, let's just go ahead and show those runes and masteries. Let's get those out of the way. So, for the masteries, it's on the bottom right now. You can check it out. There it is. Fancy stuff, I know. And then for the rune page, I'm gonna go with hybrid pen or magic penetration marks. I'm gonna go with armor seals because we are jungling. I like to take those attack speed glyphs, helps clear, also just good on Diana, and then AP quintessences. So that's her, uh, that's her runes that I like to take. There's actually a lot of variations that you could take for Diana. She's somewhat versatile, and that is gonna be a big part of her build when we get to that in a second. Let's first go over her abilities, and starting off with that, we'll go with her Moon Silver Blade. This is her passive. Now, Diana has a 20% increased attack speed every third strike. Cleaves enemies for a amount of damage. It scales with a ton of ability power. So those third hits when you buy lots of AP are enormous hits on enemies. And uh, honestly, it just wrecks them. So that is very, very good. So we haven't even gotten to our abilities yet because there's a ton of killing in this game. Um, that's just kind of what happens. So um, they gank top. We're looking to clean this up. They got to go back towards the turret, and I have way more health than both of them. We're going to go ahead and hit up Riven, Smiter, and then Standard her once. We're going to suck back in Lee Sin. Barely out of range. We'll just flash and get it real quick for the double kill. But let's go ahead and talk about our abilities now more so. Okay, level one. Put a point into your W. This is your Pale Cascade. This, you get your three orbs that go around you. They uh, are there for five seconds, or they will detonate on contacts with enemies, dealing damage. If they all go off, then you will gain... Uh, also, well, they shield you. And uh, the shield is refreshed if all three of those spheres detonate. So, very good. Helps you out in the jungle. And this keeps you really, really alive in the jungle. And because of that... Makes you very good in the jungle, and you can live through it. I know some people struggle with that. At level two, put a point to your Crescent Strike. This is your Q ability. Um, you're going to swing your blades, unleash a bolt of lunar energy, afflicting enemies with moonlight for three seconds and dealing damage to them. Um, the magic damage that it does, it's in that arc. you got to get kind of used to it. It's a little bit awkward for some at first, but it's good. Um, we max this out first. We put a point to it at level two and three because then at level four we put a point typically into our moon fall. Diana draws in and slows all enemies near her um, for a percentage for two seconds. Helps you stick to targets after you jump to them. Here we're gonna gank a top lane. We're gonna go ahead and start off with our Q, then dive in because it's helpful. It's a two v two in the top lane. We're gonna go ahead and do more damage because it's just better for us to win that fight. It's pretty generic information that I've just told you. Obviously, it's good to win fights. You know that. That's why we're here. So, um, very helpful. Moonfall, max that out last. And then your ultimate is your Lunar Rush. And so Diana dashes to an enemy dealing magic damage, ability power damage, you know, scales from ability power, um, and consumes an all active moonlight debuffs. Lunar Rush has no cooldown when used to teleport to a target afflicted by moonlight. Um, even if you are interrupted during the dash, so you still get it refreshed. So that's why you want to tag them with your Q first, so they're with that uh, moonlight, and then you can dash to them, and then it'll be back up. Therefore, when they try to flash then after it or whatever, they get ground between you for some reason, you can just use it again, get the damage off on them. Um, so in theory, you'd try to keep using Q and then Lunar Rush and then Q and then Lunar Rush, but you know, it's usually not up. But with the amount of damage and the standard attacks you're getting off with the passive on your just kit in general usually if you queue in you suck them back in once they get a little bit out of range your pale cascade goes off protecting you dealing damage and you've lunar rush twice they're usually dead you can usually zero out just about anybody so um works really well and this is why i will say it diana is secretly op a lot of people still don't play her um she got played for a while and got some nerfs but she is so incredibly strong if you get any 
items. And that's gonna be honest, like any items on Diana, like you're good to go. Like I, I, I made multiple videos for Diana and I was like, you know what? Anything you buy on her just ends up with a win. Like I've tried so many weird combinations and trying to get it perfect. And I'm like, you know what? Seriously, as long as you focus on getting damage, you win. Like bottom line, that's how it works. Obviously it then comes down to how you execute with her abilities is a big part of it. But these are some of my favorite ways to go, at least in this video, of uh, what I like to do with the build. So we're gonna get to that too since we have covered her uh, her abilities. So um, we picked up the assist as we jumped on LeBlanc and then we just zoned out and killed Lee Sin. There we got trashed by uh, those two chasing me. And then our Riven went a little too far past them and missed the stun. So it's all good. It's gonna happen, you're gonna die. We might be done dying now though for a while. So. Um, let's talk about our first beginning items after we get into another fight. There's a million fights in this game. They're just gonna happen while I'm talking. So we kill Lee Sin. Hooray. I think we're gonna kill someone else? No. Okay, good. This will leave us time to talk. So we like to pick up the Stalker's Blade. Love the Stalker's Blade. Good item on Diana. The activated slow once you dive in. Helps you be even stickier to him. So Stalker's Blade for sure is what I like. And then Magus is all what we want next. And that's called what happens when Quinn disappears. Um, so between those two things, you get a lot of really important things with Diana. Uh, it's not a very expensive item early on. Helps you obviously clear, helps you with your ganks. 80 ability power is great. And cooldown reduction, fantastic on Diana. It's a good place to get a source of cooldown reduction. 20% right off the bat. We shall take it. We love it. Here we're gonna chase after this LeBlanc. She probably wasn't getting away, but I was already in my rush. Anyways, um, yeah. So Stalker's Blade, which we're gonna start off with. Obviously, Sorks are very important. Magic Penetration Boots, you want it. I know some people might like to try Attack Speed Boots. Eh, you could do it, but I like the Penetration a little bit better, in my opinion, to get those Sorks on Diana. Um, I know some people focus their builds on Diana around the fact that her passive is huge and does a lot of damage. And I agree, it does. But you jump around a lot, and standarding is important. Don't get me wrong but you are jumping around quite a bit. When you stand still, like this is great. I mean, you obviously would get a bunch of autos off if you did have a lot of attack speed, but staying mobile and nimble in fights is really important with Diana when you're picking off people. So just a little side note, once again, as long as you're building damage, you're probably gonna do pretty good. So let's talk more about the next items that we went and picked up. So one other thing too with Diana, apart from getting damage wins you the game, which I've already said um, for any build with her, I like to prioritize items that are both damage and defense early. It allows you to then dive in because Diana dives in. She goes in hard to the team. She annihilates back end people, carries that are trying to get away. Um, I killed the clone there and then I flashed. It was really unnecessary, but got the kill. Um, I'd rather try to carry than maybe someone else. Personally, that's at least my opinion with Diana. So this is the next item we've picked up would be the Zanya's Hourglass. It allows you to dive in deep and if people aren't there to assist you right away, you can at least Hourglass um, for some safety. Also, um, just the armor on it is really, really good. And it's a strong item, so lots of AP provided. And then the next item I usually try to get, um, because we already have good base damage then with uh, the Hourglass, would be the Lich Bane. Now the Lich Bane proc is huge in my opinion. It's kind of like a double whammy too when your passive is up. It's just like that next hit is absolutely enormous. And apart from probably tagging them with your uh, Crescent Strike and then jumping in with Lunar Rush, that Lich Bane proc with your passive, I mean, you delete people, which is why we're gonna have a ton of kills this game. So Lich Bane, very important item on Diana in my opinion. Um, it's just a big power spike. Um, there's the random Q over the wall. Um, you get really good with it once you know exactly how far and how the curve works on it. Um, it's good, it's, it's really good, it's really fun. It's also really fun of sneaking it around minions and hitting people with it, so, uh, so you know, it's just funny because they, they expect minions will keep them safe. That's not how that works. We're getting into a fight, taking some abuse. We haven't hourglass yet, but we don't need to. We're just gonna dive back in, pick up an assist as the team comes over to help us clean this up. I think Blitzcrank's gonna go ham, get the double kill. Get it, Blitz! He got it. He got it. Good job, Blitzcrank. And getting way clean. So, um, Lich Bane, very, very good item. Obviously, the other part of it that I do really like and is a great thing on Diana is it does give you that movement speed, which is very good. So, um, just even more nimbleness, um, like we're talking about. We want to stay nimble in the fight. We want to jump around. We want to be awesome as, as we can. Be as awesome as we can. 
<clears throat> it's a good way to put it. Next, we have continued onward by picking up even more ability power. Um, and we've picked up even more fights. Boom. Oh, what was that? We got like paused there for a second. We blew up Riven because it needed to happen. There's a Q at Lee Sin that will kill him as well. Quinn realizes that this is a mistake. I should run away. So she does. Astute, astute observation. Um, so sometimes I do pros and cons in the builds. Um, the only con is if you get like really far behind as Diana, that's kind of unfortunate. And you will need a little bit more of those defensive stats. Um, the good things about Diana, if she gets a little bit ahead, she can make a huge impact. Um, just as you can see in this game, like Diana just, she'll go in and she'll murder people really fast, which causes lots of people to just run away. Um, the other thing that's really great about her, as I stated, she does phenomenal in the jungle currently because of the passive. She's also received a few tweaks that have been really, really good on her. Just little small things that have helped tweak, like knowing when your passive's up better with the indicator. Um, just the speed of her pale cascade, they sped it up, which is even better on her, so you get the double, the proc on it quicker. It's just better. Um, for when you're fighting enemies. And so just little things they've done have actually kind of helped bring her out a little bit. Um, yeah. If you're having any trouble in the jungle too, seriously, you can't die with her in the jungle. It's quite great. Um, she clears very, very well. Apart from living because of the shield. So, yeah. Very important. The only other thing, there's one other negative I had to think of. What was it? What was it? See, it must not even be that important because... It's, I would remember. I'm pretty sure I'd remember. So, um, the other items as we are going for obviously would be the death cap. That's a huge power spike for obvious reasons. It's a death cap. It's a lot of damage. Um, Riven goes ham, gets a triple kill. We pick up one on the Quinn. And then the juke moves from LeBlanc. Look out. I got a juke move for you, LeBlanc. It's called Smite. So, um... Obviously, this was right before they nerfed the range on Smite because that was ridiculous. I understand. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much uh, the way things go with Diana. Now, last items. Because this is what I'd call the core right here. That is the core. We got a good amount of AP. We have some decent resists. There's three items you could finish off with. One of them I'm going for right now would be the one some of you may have expected earlier on, which would be the Nasher's Tooth, with even more cooldown reduction and the attack speed and that on hit. Really good item. I don't think it's super necessary early, like I said. With enough damage, you just knock them out in one hit, so you're really not standarding them a lot. Like, you you dive in. Like, it, yeah, it's just absurd. So, um, yeah, it's good, but I don't think it's necessary. But it's good to round the build out with it. Another item I would suggest would be, perhaps, that was a bad hourglass, what the hell was that for? Flash, dead. Um, the other item would be a Void Staff would be great, obviously, because it's a Void Staff, we all know what that's all about. Another good one which helps with this survivability nonsense that I was talking about is the Abyssal Scepter. Good item. The Magic Resist is good, the Penetration works because it's around you, it's just a good item on Diana as well. Those are the three I would pick from to round out the build. Um, yeah, Diana's great. She's so fun. If you have never played her, I would highly suggest doing such a thing. Everything you need to know about this build is also in the description, which is a handy place. Uh, runes and Mastery videos, if you want to know all about runes for Season 5 and Masteries for Season 5, also in the description. Check them out. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next build video. Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for us to take a look at another champion build video. Today we will be playing as Caitlyn.